What's up, YouTube? I'm back with my second video today. This is Ali Sherlock Deja Vu. Now, <laughs> this one different. Now, I know <laughs> I'm not going to say it, but everybody know. If you go and click on the Ali Sherlock video, she got clickbait there. So, for her to have just her name and the song title, I'm like, oh. She different this time. You feel me? She feeling a little a little spicy. But uh <laughs> we gonna have a season, we gonna see what's up. I'm honestly I don't know how to feel about this one. I mean she in a closed space, you know what I'm saying? So I, her voice is gonna echo a lot more. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm be able to hear like the the longevity of her voice. So I'm honestly looking forward to this. So I'm not gonna waste no more time, I'm not gonna waste y'all time. Just gonna hop into it. Make sure you like and subscribe and share. Follow all my social media in the description below. They are all my dope ass. It's gonna happen to it. I did say on my first video, um, since Thread is around, if y'all wanna follow me on there, y'all can. Um, I don't know how much longer it'll be around since this video, so we just gonna have to see about that one. One, <laughs> two, three. I am gonna sing one of my original songs that I wrote. Um, I wrote this only recently. I only wrote it a couple of days ago. So this is like the first time I'm kind of like properly playing it. But um, oh, okay. this is not about me. This is about something that one of my friends went through. And I said, I will write a song and, um, and sing it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so I'm getting a little, a little preview. I like this, come on. Come on. Do you remember this? I'm sure that you do. Do you get deja vu? You promised me the world and everything in it. You said that you would love me till the day you finished. But you weren't in it. I believed every word. Didn't think you were lying. I was holding back tears when you called me crying That I was one in a million Oof. And all I ever wanted was for you to love me too But all I got was my heart in two And I feel stupid for believing you After everything that we've been through Do you remember this? Come on. I believe every word, didn't think you were lying. I was holding back tears when you called me crying. Said I was one in a million. Goodness. All I ever wanted was for you to love me too. But all I got was my heart in two. Come on. Come on. Man. 
man. That was this one special, and my reasoning behind it is because for an artist to be able to write about their friends or just their own experiences and put it out there, there's a little there's a little human in it, and what I mean by that is you feel it yourself. You know what I'm saying? You can write a rap, write a song, and the person that's listening to it wouldn't understand anything or feel anything for that song. Now, for uh, you writing an experience, writing something that happened that people can relate to, people will understand because they've been there. That's when your song flourishes the most. Now, I know there's a lot of songs out there that thrive and grow big just off of pain but those songs people can relate to most because we've all been through pain we've all been through sadness or anything that's troubled us and this is something that i can tell that her friend has went through something like this her friend literally you no know see she probably had to paraphrase a couple words add a couple extra words to you know what i'm saying get the full story in there and encapsulate it but this really shows that she paid attention to the story that she was listening to and wanted to try her best, not her best, but really make her situation a song that people can relate to. That you're not the only one dealing with this. We've all dealt with this. You know what I'm saying? I understand, and here's my reasoning why I understand. Because this is a beautiful song right here. An absolutely beautiful song. Like, to the lyrics, to just the piano and the emotion that she showed while singing this song. Like, you could tell that, like, even though this is not her story, that she understands her story. There's a lot of artists out there, you'd be surprised, have song wrote your favorite songs. <laughs> and you'd be surprised, like, oh, I thought so-and-so wrote this song. No, there's people out there that song, song write this. And they have their own emotion. And you'd be like, okay, why is my favorite artist singing this person's song did they go through it probably not but the person that wrote it did and if you can understand it and sing it it's like you felt it too it's just a mutual understanding look i don't i'm talking too much about it i just love bro oh i love this music shit bro i love talking about it because it just makes me happy that i decided to do music myself now, it's, I'm going I'm to I'm stay off me, but it just, it makes me happy to see that music is touching us in an emotional way. You feel me? But overall, Ali just did a phenomenal job. Um, I'm glad she put this out there. I'm not sure if, you know what I'm saying, she was, I don't know how long it's been since she wrote it. Or she just wrote it and decided to just put it out there. But overall... She did the damn thing, you feel me? I do know <clears throat> I do want to know what y'all thought about my reaction, what I had to say in the comments below. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Follow all my social media in the description below. They are all the bed six. And I'll check y'all my third and final video for today. I just wanna cut loose, snip, fuck a job, fuck it. I can be my own boss. Oh god. Uh -huh. Just come up on check, check.